takes us a year in all the planning and every year we have a new, different theme, a completely new theme for the event which hopefully keeps it fresh and exciting. This year it's Racing Colours, National Pride and Culture. So it's all about the DNA of a car. What makes an Italian car, what makes a Ferrari so Italian? Why is an Italian car so different to say a German car, a Mercedes-Benz or a BMW? So it's an interesting and exciting theme. Good for people to get so close to the action. You know, there's stuff here that I haven't seen before, and uh, and it's good. You know, I'm not so sure about riding one of these things up the garden path, but you know, we'll roll up, and uh, and it's a great, a great event. Catch up with a lot of people, so good, good to be here. the opportunity to drive the cars you do and meet the drivers that you haven't seen probably in your life but have read about them, find yourself on the same scorecard, it's fantastic. The car means an awful lot to me and being here with so many enthusiastic people coming along on this fabulous uh, family day out, I think, I think it's wonderful. What Charles March, I think uh, he's done an incredible job as his grandfather, the Duke of Richmond, uh, would be very proud.
of course, being such an enjoyable event, um, it, it's nice to be able to wander around and mingle and, and, as a fan of the sport, look at the different cars. It's absolutely rammed. I mean, I've never seen this many people here. And uh, looking around at the cars, there's a Jensen Interceptor parked over there, actually, which I might go and have a look at, which I'm a big fan of. So, um, yeah, it's, it's good to be here, and there's uh, lots, lots to see and do. Peter Kitschak, there are a lot of cars here at Goodwood with amazing history, and your Porsche won one of the great, last great road races. Tell us about that. Well, in 1973, it wasn't the fastest car at the event, but it won the last Targa Florio, which is a race kind of around Sicily. And it then went on to run at Le Mans and a lot of other top places that season. It ran all of the GT races. It started out the season as a GT car, and as they improved the car, they put it into the prototype class because it ended up with a body that didn't quite meet all the rules. And they had a little bigger engine and a little trickier suspension, so it was a very, very interesting car. How much difference does it make to you as a collector that this car has such a unique history? I mean, you could have another RSR, which would look just as nice, but you know what this car's done. It, it, it's a great, great car, and it's really interesting that it gets invited to an event like this. I actually have another RSR that I race regularly in the States, um, and it's just a race car. Now, tell us a little bit about the Goodwood Festival of Speed, because everybody seems to think it's an event that is just a little bit different. Oh, it's an absolutely extraordinary event. I've, I've been to probably all of the motor racing events that there are to go to, driven at Le Mans, and there is nothing that has the interest uh, and the number of fans and it's the people get a chance to get so close to the cars. It's just an absolutely wonderful event. In modern motor racing, of course, the fans are being kept further and further back. Now, you as an owner of some priceless cars, how do you feel about the fans getting so close? Are you worried they're going to damage the car? You know, I really liked it when I got the first stone chip on the car because then I didn't have to worry about it again. And it looks like a real race car. So if it gets scratched a little bit, I'm not going to worry about that. You know, it's really important, I think, that people get a chance to see cars like this. And so it doesn't bother me at all that they get very close to the car, lean their head inside and poke their head inside the engine. It's all great. And it seems that at Goodwood, most of the crowd are pretty knowledgeable. To be sure, it's, it's really interesting about the number of people who will come by and comment and ask about something on the car and say, well, that's not right. And then we tell them that it was a prototypical car and so it had a few things that were a little bit different, but there are very, very knowledgeable fans here. Now this Goodwood Hill, um, it looks innocuous, but in fact it can bite you, can't it? Uh, how, how do you feel about driving a car as precious as this up the hill? You know, I it's it's racing and you know I've worried about and heard a lot about the stone wall and you know if you just kind of grit your teeth and go and try to go fast and that's what we're trying to do we're doing time runs um, it's I don't think it's as intimidating as everybody thinks it is it's just great great fun so you're obviously enjoying your weekend at Goodwood oh terrifically it's just a great great event well we hope it all continues to go well for you Peter thanks for bringing this beautiful car thank you Wow.